I'm here in this beautiful 19th century home with event planner Amber Orchard. Hi Marnie. Hi, what are we doing today Amber? We are doing tissue paper pom-poms. They're not only easy to make, they're economical and you can customize them for any theme or color. Fun! So first thing you're going to do is you're going to unfold your tissue paper. Mm -hmm. You need anywhere between, I'm going to say, five to ten sheets. So you've got your sheets laid out and you want to make sure that they're lined up nicely because you are going to be folding them. That's our next step. Okay. Even your kids can help you this out with this. This is fun! Yeah. Alright Marty, so the next step here is we're actually going to tie it off with ribbon. Great, so you're going to take the ribbon here, unroll yourself, like I said, a little bit of a longer piece to start. Grab yourself some scissors. We're going to just Find sort of the middle point in your tissue paper. Take your ribbon and sort of anchor your, your pom-pom. And you'll have one nice long end. And do you want like a short end and a long end or what am I doing here? Uh, okay. Yeah, you know what, basically you're wanting to have a really long piece. Don't worry, we'll find it in the end when we're okay. done our, okay. our bit here. We can always... So the great way to personalize this is that we're going to snip the ends of it, okay? Mm -hmm. You can do them in a semicircle, you can do them in a point, or if you like, you can just leave them straight. Okay. I think today I'm going to go for a point, though. And Marnie, you can do whatever you like. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> and just on the other side. Nice sharp scissors really help. Mm -hmm. I can thank my mother-in-law for these beautiful Henkel ones, which do a great job. I'm a lady. All right, Marnie, next step. You're going to kind of fold itself out. Now, this is when it sort of is the most delicate part of this, and right. that is you're going to be pulling away the tissue paper, starting at the center piece by piece. Gently pulling out and around. That's the best way I can kind of explain it to you. And that will make sure that the papers are separated. Excellent. Okay, Marnie, right this way to the dining room. And here's where we're going to hang the pom-poms, right above the table here. This is where you're going to thank me for that very long string. So see if you can find that within your pom-pom. Turn that around, and that's what we're going to use to hang them from the ceiling. And what I love about these is that they, they provide a bit of intimacy to your dining table. Absolutely. So it sort of pulls things down. It's a really fun way um, to, to decorate, and you can coordinate with details like these tulips down here that I've done in sort of the matching colors. And I think we're going to stagger these, actually. Mm -hmm. And that'll provide a bit of visual interest. Well, that was fun and easy, and look at how beautiful it turned out. You are a good student, Marnie. Well, you're a great teacher. <laughs> so when are you available for brunch? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anytime. Perfect. <laughs>